okay, we're trying this a second time. Sorry, I'm having technical difficulties today. Uh, so this is Pray Down at High Noon, uh, closer to one o'clock Central Time, but uh, here we are for our time of prayer. Um, I wanted to read something to you, and I actually uh, used this for our staff devotion yesterday. And um, I just think uh, during these days when we have some forced reflection, and um, time to be able to be still that uh, we shouldn't forget to listen and not just talk at the Lord. So this is from uh, the book of First Samuel, and this is the call of um, Samuel. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli, who was the prophet. Um, the, Lord, the word of the Lord was rare in those days. Visions were not widespread. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel, Samuel, and he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call, lie down again. So he went and lay down. The Lord called again, Samuel, Samuel, got up and went to Eli. And he said, here I am, for you called. But he said, I did not call my son, lie down again. But Samuel did not yet know the Lord. And the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again a third time. And he got up and went to Eli and said, here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived what the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore, Eli said to Samuel, Go lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Lord came and stood there calling as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. Uh, I think one of the things that uh, I have never really paid attention to in this scripture verse just occurred to me that uh, Eli um, knew the Lord and yet couldn't figure out that the Lord was speaking to Samuel yet. And Samuel, who didn't know the Lord, was still laying near the place where the ark was. And in the Old Testament, the presence of God was in smaller places, not yet inside of all of us. And so there was Samuel laying next to the presence of God. And um, what does that mean for us when we need to listen to the Lord? Um, one of the questions that we had for our confirmands this last Sunday was, how do you hear the Lord? And uh, it takes practice. And it's even hard for adults to get to that point and to explain that to children I think it's simply here, as Samuel was doing, is just practicing it, being in the presence, being near where God is, wherever that may be for us. And um, I think during these days of quarantine, we need to not forget to put ourselves in that position, to uh, set time aside where we are listening, uh, even in the forced solitary confinement that many of us are still in and uh, will continue to be in, that we not forget to position ourselves to where we're listening to God so that uh, we can say to God, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Um, we do speak a lot at God. We do ask a lot of him but he really is wanting to communicate with us. He really is wanting to speak to us. And even uh, in these days, especially in these days where <clears throat> we have time. Uh, you know, I, I always tell children to create a space where they can go and listen to God. And so I would uh, encourage you to do that as well. So now let's um, do go to God in prayer, a prayer that he taught us to pray, and I invite you to pray that with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and the kingdom and the glory forever. Amen and amen. Do have a good rest of your week, and uh, don't forget to spend some time listening for God. Bye.